A native Algonquin term for the Hudson River estuary is Mahia Kuntuk, the river that flows both ways. And measuring the currents and tides of the river is an important way of studying what's going on in the river. We're going to demonstrate several different methods for measuring currents and tides. They all have pros and cons, so you should choose the one that works best for you and your site. To measure currents, we only need a few simple tools. Some oranges, a depth measure, a smartphone or stopwatch, and some data sheets. Now if you have a situation where you have a bunch of students, one thing you can do is have someone throw the orange and the students line up along the bulkhead or along the pier to figure out where that orange is going to land. So in this case, Imira is going to throw the orange and wherever that orange bobs up, you're going to point perpendicular at it and you're going to stay right there and say start as soon as that orange bobs up, right? When Imira says start, what do you do? Start the timer. Start that countdown to 30 seconds. And when you get close to 30, you let us know and say stop. Now, wherever that orange is, if it's by one of you, you've got to track it. And as soon as Camille says stop, you've got to lock that in perpendicular to the shore and stay right there. Keep that hand out until somebody comes and gets a measurement between you and Imira where the orange first went in. 27, 28, 29, stop. You got it. Jordan, you feel good about it? Yeah. Looks like we've got 19 feet and one inch. 19 feet and one inch. Now, if you want to do the metric system, that's fine. In fact, if we flip this over, we'll see that that's equal to, what do we got here? Five meters and 83 centimeters, or 583 centimeters, in how many seconds? 30. 30 seconds. In 30 seconds. Be sure to record your units of distance and of time. What was going on during that time period? Was the orange speeding up, slowing down, or staying the same? Slowing down. Slowing down, why would the orange slow down? The currents, the currents, the currents because down. the currents change, exactly. An estuary is a dynamic place. Things are changing all the time. And just in, a, in, just in 20 minutes, we can actually see those changes. That's what makes studying the Hudson such a cool thing to do. A few little things to remember about measuring currents. Don't toss the orange too close to the shore or too far. Remember to write down your units. Measure multiple times for good science. When I say Hudson River, you say... Anyway! Anyway!